Well, hello there. Today we're going to watch a classic TV series called The Incredible Hulk, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. The Incredible Hulk is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today we're going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show and how they've changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Bill Bixby was born on January 22, 1934, in San Francisco, California. He played the character Dr. David Banner in the series when he was 43 years old in 1977. Sadly, on November 21, 1993, Bixby died of complications from prostate cancer in Century City, Los Angeles, California, at the age of 59. I'm here to ask you to go to the police. For what? To tell them you saw Jocelyn kill Terry Smith. That it wasn't the creature. <laughs> so long, and then the eyes dilate so much you can't, you can't look at night. So there's a drama. You know, I... Jack Colvin was born on October 13, 1934, in Linden, Kansas. He played the character Jack McGee in the series when he was 43 years old in 1977. Sadly, on December 1st, 2005, Colvin died from complications of a stroke in North Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, at the age of 71. Your newspaper is only interested in reporting murder, rape, horoscopes, UFOs, and Farrah Fawcett. I don't happen to fit into any of those categories. Charles Napier was born on April 12, 1936, in Mount Union, Kentucky. He played the character Hulk in the series when he was 43 years old in 1979. Sadly, on October 5, 2011, Napier died after having collapsed in Bakersfield, California, at the age of 75. So most stars kept a uh, stalk of bananas in their car, but they had to be half right. But anyway, uh, it's, um, it's just... Gerald McRaney was born on August 19, 1947, in Collins, Mississippi. He played the character Chief Frank Road in the series when he was 30 years old in 1977. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 75. Talk to somebody about this, Frank, a doctor. Tell him what you're telling me. I'm talking to you! I'm talking to you! Dressing one of, well, I don't know, four or five in a row. Yeah. And I had just arrived, and there's a knock on... Charlie Pisirni was born on December 19, 1935, in Corona, New York City, New York. He played the character Charlie in the series when he was 43 years old in 1978. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 87. I look back, and all the years I've been in the business, I won't say how many, but it's over 50. And I've worked on my, my resume. I didn't realize it. My wife... Lou Ferrigno was born on November 9, 1951, in New York City. He played the character The Incredible Hulk in the series when he was 26 years old in 1977. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 71. Hey, mister, you're going to be 10 minutes late, so just keep your show down. Laurie Prange was born on January 26, 1952, in Los Angeles, California. She played the character Katie Maxwell in the series when she was 25 years old in 1977. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 71. Mark Alimo was born on May 5, 1942, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He played the character Captain Holt in the series when he was 36 years old in 1978. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 81. Emma, Avery's here, I'm here. So he could be a foot away and it would still look like he hit. 
So in rehearsal, he just goes. Walter Brook was born on October 23, 1914, in New York City. He played the character Mark Roberts in the series when he was 66 years old in 1980. Sadly, on August 20, 1986, Brook died from emphysema in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 71. Billy Green Bush was born on November 7, 1935, in Montgomery, Alabama. He played the character Sheriff Carl Decker in the series when he was 44 years old in 1979. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 87. Victoria Carroll was born as Mary Carroll Lee Ford on January 21, 1941, in Los Angeles, California. She played the character Rose in the series when she was 38 years old in 1979. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 82. Sandy McPeak was born on February 21, 1936, in Indiana, Pennsylvania. He played the character Alex in the series when he was 42 years old in 1978. Sadly, on December 31, 1997, McPeak died of a heart attack in Nevada City, California, at the age of 61. Denny Miller was born on April 25, 1934, in Bloomington, Indiana. He played the character John Toby in the series when he was 44 years old in 1978. Sadly, on September 9, 2014, Miller died from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the age of 80. Well, kind of. Uh, Dad was on the faculty at UCLA. Uh, they gave the physical education department. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of the Incredible Hulk TV series, I want to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.